So May is here and here are a few facts about it. It's the fifth month of the year, it's one of the three months with 31 days, it's the month with the shortest name and it's also the month with 10 amazing applications in 2017. Hey what's happening guys, welcome to eReviews and the monthly edition of Top Apps. This video is a collaboration with my good friend Suraj from Tech Devoted. The links to his channel and the apps mentioned in this video will be given in the description section below, so be sure to check them out. Alright, so without any further ado, let's get started. So kicking off my list is Pixabay. This app is your free alternative to commercial stock photo websites like Shutterstock. It has over a million royalty-free photos, illustrations and vectors you can use commercially under the Creative Commons license. The UI is simple and straightforward. You can search for images using keywords, browse through the categories or take a stroll through editor's choice. If you're a creator or designer, definitely give this app a shot. Kicking this list off is Brin Business Advisor. Brin is a virtual assistant that aims to give you advice on all things business. After installing the app and doing a brief introduction, you can ask Brin just about any business related question you want. Be it simple questions like who is the CEO or complex ones like how to overcome procrastination, it's all there. Brin currently knows answers to 5000 plus questions with more to come, say the developers. In addition, they have a bunch of high quality videos. Uh, there's over a thousand of them and it's all free. If you're a business person, this is the app you should get. Next up is TubePlayer. If you've ever been frustrated by YouTube's stringent policy of not allowing music to be played in the background, then this is the app for you. It's basically a hybrid music slash video player which lets you play YouTube videos in the background. Just click on the video you want to watch or listen and the app will generate a pop-up head of the video. You can either continue watching the video while using other apps or just turn off the screen and continue listening to music. Nifty app, use it before Google takes it down. Next on the list is Snap Swipe Drawer. This app lets you access your widgets from anywhere by sniping down on the status bar. Here you can add app shortcuts or actual widgets. I've got some of my most used apps as well as a subscriber count widget for my channel. But the downside here is you can only add up to 4 widgets on the free version but nevertheless it's a pretty cool app and it's worth a shot. A lot of people have asked me which is the best video editor for Android. Most of the times I evade that question by saying follow the trial and error method. But now I have an answer. A suggestion actually. It's the quick video editor from GoPro. Now this app gives you optimal manual settings and automates the rest. And it automates like a boss. There's a lot to this app and too little time for me to explain so download and explore for yourself. But just to give you a gist of what to expect, head over to my Instagram and check out my Deepika Padukone video and consider following if you like what you see. Today weather forecast is a super clean and minimal weather app that gives you a bunch of information. You can see plenty of details such as humidity, pressure, chance of rain and so much more. The free version has quite a lot of ads so if you want to get rid of them you'll have to do a one time fee of I believe $4 but nevertheless I think this app is pretty cool, its design is something I'm a big big fan of. This is Mac Stores. It's a movie search engine that also doubles as a download helper. You can pick from the latest and popular list or you can just search for a specific movie. Currently the app fetches data from three major torrent websites namely YTS, Pirate Bay and Extra Torrent. This is kind of against Google's policy so I'm surprised it's still live on the Play Store. So download the app and movies soon before Google takes it down. CineTrack is an app that gives you a shitload of information on movies from ratings to cast to similar movies and everything in between it's all there. The app is unreleased, uh, it's still in development so there might be a few bugs here and there but I like the fact that uh, it follows material design and uh, if you're a movie buff this is a must have. Last but not least on my list is Beat Racer. There are only three things you need to know about this game. Stunning graphics, easy controls and electronic music. So you're a futuristic car racing through gorgeous landscape or should I say soundscape following a trail of alluring beats. Along the way you jump to avoid obstacles and defeat enemy futuristic cars that follow at crucial times making them a pain in the ass. The music is simply great so go ahead download it and play with earphones or headphones for the best rhythmic music and gameplay. Finally we have privacy screen guard and filter. Okay so basically this app aims to help you privately surf or chart in public places where you don't want others to see what you're doing. So what this basically does is it puts a shade on your screen. You can adjust how bright or how dull the shade gets, how much of the screen it covers and even the shape of the shade. So with the help of this app you can easily hide sensitive information like passwords or private text. Just about anything. Handy app. Give it a shot. 
Alright guys, so that's about it for this video. If you liked it, give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to both our channels. And we'd really appreciate if you share this video on your social media accounts. If you have suggestions for the next month's edition, be sure to leave them in the comment section below. I will definitely consider them. This is Santosh signing off for A-Reviews. You guys have a great day.